Hello and welcome to my new video. My name is Snagrat and thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, do not forget to like this video and subscribe for further videos. This video is about Crossout, the new co-driver at Eat Slam. In this video I will talk about where to find the co-drivers, how to get the intelligence, what does at Eat Slam do, how does it work in combat, where to find the co-drivers. The co-drivers can be found at the bottom center at your garage, to the left of your car icon. At the moment there are 8 co-drivers. Patchnose already mentioned that there may be more to come. To unlock the co-drivers you need to collect intelligence. How to get intelligence? You can collect intelligence by playing missions and patrol maps. Or you can buy intelligence with cross crowds. Personally I consider this a waste. By playing you quickly get 30 to 36 intelligence per game. In missions with a maximum of 4000 per week. If you are a new player and not have gotten a refund, this would mean 3 times 3000 intelligence and 5 times 7000 intelligence. That makes a total of 44000 intelligence. 44000 intelligence divided by 4000 is 11 weeks for all call drivers to unlock. This of course is less if you have a refund from the old call driver system. This amount is different for everyone. What does Athlete Slam do? The talent charges by dealing blasts of fire damage to multiple enemies at the same time. Or by hitting an enemy with at least two rockets from a single rocket salvo. Talent effect. Temporarily increases damage by 10% and shell blast radius by 33%. How does it work in combat? Atitlan is currently the only co-driver that can be deployed in multiple ways and weapons. Now I'll show you on my test track. Option 1. Rockets. Let's take the Wasp as an example. One times firing shoots two rockets. Both must hit for one charge. If you miss, you keep your obtained charges. The wasp's cooldown is longer than that of the next charge, so you better put up each wasp with its own fire button and shoot at the same time once you have the maximum charges. Option 2. Grenades. Let's take the Ratcher as an example. If you hit one target, nothing happens. If you hit two or more targets with one shot, the charge is immediately at the maximum with one shot. The advantage is, at great distance with the wretch's large spread of the grenades, you can already have your charge before the real blasting work starts. The disadvantage is that you do not have much benefit from the passive skills. Option 3. Weapons with fire on the ground. You can think of weapons like the Mandrake, the Incinerator or the Mastodon. I don't own a Mandrake, so I use a car from the exhibition for the explanation. It's difficult to build up a charge with these weapons to make the needed multi-hit. Once you get the charge active, the initial hit deals extra damage and the fire on the ground is 5% larger in size. The new system of the co-drivers is still very new. Hot fixes have already happened. They've also admitted that it's too intense for PvP. Adjustments no doubt will come. Feel free to leave any comment for upcoming changes. Thanks for watching this video, I hope this video was of any help. If you liked this video feel free to like and subscribe for upcoming videos. You can also join in on one of my live streams.